Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here to watch this episode of Blooms for You. Now, this doesn't look like much except for some scruffy dendrobium sticks with little dotted pointers of pink, but it is my dendrobium cerola. And she has not stopped blooming since she started blooming at the beginning of the 20 season. And um, unfortunately, her blooms are extremely delicate to any kind of water. And then there's marks and I couldn't really do any more bloom dedications after the few first clusters because of how much water they need over the growing season. But I just wanted to say that what is here is nothing less special. And I just wanted to give these to my subscribers, especially this last little cluster down in here, if I can get, it, get at it, which is quite complicated because it's sort of tucked away. But these are the freshest ones and they are not touched by water because everything else is protecting it from the spray, etc. So these are my little Dendrobium Cerola clusters that I'd like to say thank you to everybody that watches this video, my subscribers especially. Thank you ever so much for being here. And I know that this is probably not the best show ever to dedicate, but my goodness, this orchid has been so busy all summer and I couldn't quite feature her as much as I would have liked simply because the blooms were always very quickly damaged by water, but not this cluster. So I hope that you enjoy what else has been in bloom or is still blooming. I'll see you shortly. One bloom is all it takes. My first bloom ever on my Brassavola flagellalis. That is quite a tongue twister. I have to say that I would love to see a few more blooms, but I am so, so happy that I actually have a bloom because it's been three years that this orchid has been in my possession. And we have tried to figure out how to get her to grow and be happy. And I think one bloom shows me we are on our way. Without further ado, Danielle from Danielle's Orchid Ranch. My Brassavola flagellalis blooms for you. This is a massive thank you. And one bloom doesn't actually, you know, justify the hugeness of my thank you. However, I hope that you don't see one bloom as a reflection of my gratitude towards all the work and all the teaching you have done on your channel regarding Phalaenopsis and now many, many other genus in water culture. I love your channel. I think that you are one of those top, top channels that actually teach beautifully results, failures, and all of that. And I have to say that I have tried to copy your techniques and I am not as successful yet. I will keep trying. Sorry if there is a wind distortion. This is the only corner at the moment that I can go film because the way the sun is at the moment, I would wash everything out and then I couldn't see my screen and I wouldn't know if I'm even in focus, which including my glasses, I can't even see now. So I'm sorry, <laughs> but Danielle, I really, really can't express how thankful I am to have met you on this platform that you watch my videos and that we have a wonderful communication in the comments. I really, really appreciate it. It means a lot to be interacting with you, a lot. So in the evening, let me just try and get a steady hand here. In the evening, let me tell you about this magical fragrance that this Brassavola has. It's, um, it comes in through the terrace like a, like a Neo fragrance, but much more intense. It is very delicate, very powdery, but intense in its structure. So there's many layers of citrus and sort of a cream and floral hint to it as well. 
it's just, I would say, delicious. Good enough to eat. And it is at night. So just when the sun sets, it starts to permeate its fragrance. A gorgeous, gorgeous orchid, which I have on a ninja mount. And it seems to be loving it. So, Danielle, thank you ever so much for everything, for your support and for your generous sharing of your knowledge. I really appreciate it. Well, look who's back. We have a straggler here from one of my novelty palinopsis. Lady Chatterley decided to pay us another visit. Well, in actual fact, this is Palinopsis cornocervi variety Chatelladei. And we have another bloom, which is fantastic. And there's another bud coming right here. Amazing for this time of year. But, Gabriele Weidhuna. I would think that this is actually quite the remarkable little surprise that I can dedicate to you as a thank you for being so supportive on my channel, for enjoying my little excursion to the garden center. I appreciate you letting me know. I hope to do more of those in the future, but uh, only time will tell how things go. But in the meantime, Gabriele, I really want to say thank you. That's what this is all about, to be able to dedicate this fifth bloom of my Cornusurvi, Variety Chatella Day, and I call her lovingly Lady Chatterley, uh, to you for everything, for your support. Now she still has a fragrance. It's very plasticky. There's a note of sweetness, but I, uh, this late in the season, it's not that prominent. There was a time I could just walk by and I knew it was her. But now you really have to stick your nose in it. But one thing she is not lacking and something I always love to emphasize and feature is that cheeky, cheeky grin on the face. I think that is just so naughty looking and that's why I love her so much. She's a very vigorous, vigorous growing fowl with the roots and just loves the setup of Lekka and self-watering. But her blooms are not very big, as you can tell. Having said that, her fragrance at this point is not as big as it used to be, but that cheeky grin is still something that I absolutely adore. So Gabriele, thank you ever so much for everything, for your support and for being on my channel. I really, really appreciate it. I have a branch here of blooms from Tulumnia Golden Fire for Candia Dana or Candia Dana. I don't know. I saw your name a while ago, put it on the list. And here we are. I have a branching, blooming cluster of my Tolumnia Golden Fire, which I would like to dedicate to you. Now, I can't see much. She's a difficult one to film, but actually with the sunlight, which is about like the setting sun, you can see the crystalline textures and the effect of that beautiful lip with the light. I hope I'm getting this right. It's gorgeous. And she does display golden fire in her blooms, in the colors. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. What Tolumnias do, you think that you're done, that's it. And then suddenly they branch out and there's more. So Candia, Dana, Candia Dana, not so sure. These blooms are for you because as always, I would like to say thank you so very, very much for your support on my channel. We know the drill. I hope that you see this video. 
and with the evening sun, I think if it's in focus, we timed it just perfectly to appreciate the colors. Thank you so very, very much, Candia. She comes from the land down under. No, not the orchid. <laughs> the lady I am dedicating my fourth spike of Nani Puakea Dogashima to. Orchid Emmy. Orchid Emmy. Not mash that up. Orchid Emmy. Fourth spike, Nani Puakea Dogashima, is dedicated to you as a massive thank you for your support on my channel and uh, for being on Instagram where I have been slack this summer and I am sorry to anybody following me on Instagram that hears this. Yeah, I've been kind of busy trying to figure out this YouTube thing so but I will make up for it in the winter on Instagram and show everything that has been in bloom. I shall do a repeat there for anyone lacking blooms in the winter. But back to Orchid Emmy. Thank you. Thank you so much for being so sweet and kind on my channel and for your support. And let me tell you that I am very, very jealous of your impending spring. I know I sound greedy. I've just had a wonderful spring and summer and I'm heading into fall, but I do not like what is coming in the winter. So to ring in your spring season, I thought that Nani Puakea Dogashima would be a wonderful fit that brightens any possible dark nights that you're coming out of now. And that will also impermeate the spring fragrances that we all, all so much enjoy. And this one still smells of spearmint. It's incredible. The sweet spearmint, not the peppermint, but the chewing gum spearmint. A, a, a fantastic fragrance. I must say, I absolutely love it. And it's not weak. It's not weak at all. It's not something you have to guess at. It's right there as I'm working with my orchids in the blooming alley. Yeah, I can, it's like I'm chewing, chewing gum. It's awesome. Now, the one thing about this orchid is that the blooms are not long lasting. It's not that long ago that I filmed the other three spikes and you can see how they are fading away. The spots are still defined, but the petals and sepals, yeah, they're drying out quickly, very quickly. Look at the first spike that even opened. That's, that's not even been three weeks with me. But I have my fourth spike with four blooms, which are a little bit squished, unfortunately. I guess my spike training didn't work out so well this time. And I hope that despite the sun changing the angle as I speak, that you can see some of the detail of this gorgeous lip and the trumpet going all the way in. A landing pad for any pollinator. And you can see what awaits at the end. It's like a little face. Let me see if I can zoom in. See that little face waiting there? Yeah. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing with a dotted line, literally a runway. And these blooms are so pristine and beautiful and white. I must say that I'm, a, I'm very sad that they don't last very long. It's a shame. But Orchidemi, here is the fourth spike of my Nani Puakea Dogashima. Your name was tagged for this one. And I want to thank you very, very much for everything, for your support. And I hope that you are going to enjoy spring and let us know all about it here in the Northern Hemisphere. Well, this is making me very happy. Very, very happy. 
because Thalanopsis Yin's Black Eagle decided to grace us with another bloom. And this bloom goes to this person. I don't know anything else about you, but I know that I saw your name come up uh, on a subscriber's confirmation or something like that. But so this person, this bloom is for you. And it's also a little bit of a straggler for this time of year, but it's very welcome straggler. Looking a little bit more yellow on camera than it actually is in real life, so to speak. So I have actually the visual a little bit more of a greeny tinge to the petals and sepals, but I am really liking what I'm seeing on camera. So this is just as good. I am not complaining. This is an awesome, awesome image. And the, the detail now is very, very visible. She's not as big also this time of year as she would be in the summer, but that doesn't matter. Her fragrance is still very powerful, still extremely sweet. There's a certain hint of plastic in it. And now I liken it as well to when you open the Tupperware of like a candy box or something, and you're about to clean it, you get that waft of, of sweet, you know, what the candy was, or maybe a sweet cereal or something like that. So it is still quite intense on this one, which is very, very pleasant, I must say. And there's not that many pollinators around to destroy the bloom. So it's really nice to have her at this time of year and enjoy her for much longer without pollinators attacking her. And you can see in the back here, I'm getting another bud Wow, if that even makes it, that would be awesome. I'd be very surprised, but you never know with these guys. So she is uh, doing really well and is already starting on her first leaf of the season, which is great because it is early in the year. I hope not to get kinks. The previous one was a bit small and stunted compared to what was before, so I'm hoping to get at least the leaves and the structures back to their so-called size. And that is a great thing that I have one already growing because it's early in the year and the winter has not quite kicked in to stunt any kind of growth because these guys do not grow very well in my climate throughout the winter. So this person, Thank you ever so much for your support, for being on my channel, for being here so early days. I really appreciate it. And this bloom is all yours. All right. Anybody kind of feeling this is repetitious with regards to my Vanda Rainbow Forest? Well, um, one more time and maybe in some subsequent videos and the rainbow forest ninth spike has opened and it's looking at its prime at the moment even the lower blooms have not even shown sign of fading and the ninth spike goes to nikki engelsos and Nikki, I have no comment from you or anything like that that I can reflect on Having said that, your name is on my list. That means you're it. And my ninth spike of Vanda Rainbow Forest is the one that was allocated to you. So now she is bloomed out completely with all her spikes. Some I already have cut off, but her fragrance with what she's still got going is still strong, still gorgeous and still very, very welcome. Nikki, thank you so very much for being on my channel, for your support. I hope that things are well in your part of the world. I do not know much as I haven't had any interaction with you. Having said that, it matters not. Your name came up and I took it down. And that is all that I need to say thank you so, so very much for being here and for your support. And that, for me, unless Vanda Rainbow Forest has another spike up its sleeve that I cannot see, 
will be the wrap of nine spikes of 2020 season. Pretty impressive, I would say. This vanda has now been in bloom almost three months, showing a basket of just goodness. I wouldn't want to be without it. So Nikki, I am really, really happy to be able to take this ninth spike and make it yours and say thank you very, very much. Sorry about the wind, but we can see a little basket of goodness bopping around. Thank you, Nikki. This could have been my 14th bloom on my Sologeny Lime Bay, which I wish I could have also dedicated to you, Rev Singh Waskale. We actually may have a language barrier here, but uh, I will put your name in the description. Rev Singh, if you ever see this, I want to just say thank you, despite the language barrier. So here, what could have been the 14th bloom, I am so sorry. I can only volunteer and give you, dedicate to you, the fourth bloom on the second spike of my Sologeny Lime Bay. And she is already pushing her fifth bud. And she has opened just recently. So let's do what I usually do. Let's take off her little cap. And there she is, exposed and gorgeous. Still fragrant, still musty room, dusty room fragrance. Nothing's changed there. Let me see if I can turn around gently and not damage anything. Zoom out a little bit. Revzing, Waskali. Your presence on my channel is very much appreciated. I use Google Translate to be able to understand what you're saying. But I haven't heard from you for a while, so I hope that you're okay, that you are safe in your part of the world. I would like to actually tell you so that you know that I'm very much appreciative of having you on my channel. And I do hope sincerely that you see this video and know that you have been recognized and that I really hope that you're doing well because I haven't heard from you for a while. So Sologeny Lime Bay is busy. Let me just get her up a little bit because we did do a repot and only just recently have I taken her spike off because now it's all dried up. But look at that, getting roots. That is looking wonderful. That's what I like to see as well. After a repot that we got the timing right and it can now just dig in and get in there and develop stronger and further. And maybe, maybe we can be so lucky to get another new growth and then hopefully have two spikes again in about nine months. Because <laughs> that's what these actually do take. So here we are. Revzing, look at that happy sap on that new bud. What a picture, what a picture. Rev Singh Waskali, thank you ever so much. I really appreciate you here on my channel. Shirley Holt, how about the contrast from the beast to the beauty? <laughs> yeah, I appreciate you watching my Stanhopia video very much, thank you. And that was a beast. So we're going to have a little bit of a Disney thing going here from the beauty and the beast. The beast having come sooner, but let's change the subject a little bit and admire the beauty because my second spike of my Lelia Regina has opened. Look at this little trio. Isn't that just gorgeous? I'm sorry, these are your blooms, Shirley. I'm not here to offer an opinion, <laughs> but I just wanted to actually, um, yeah, through the zoom lens, admire these cute little blooms. 
they are not long lasting. I was hoping to be able to show the plant with two spikes on the go, but as the second spike opened, the first spike faded very, very quickly. So the first spike came from this pseudobulb right here, but it's gone. I just recently cut it off. And then we are blessed with these three stooges. <laughs> ah, they're so cute. Shirley, I digress. I go and get distracted by blooms. But let me just say thank you so much for your support. That's what this is all about, is to give back and somehow acknowledge and address how much things mean to me. And I really, really appreciate that you are here on my channel and I appreciate your comments. I'm sorry for the banging in the background. Once you click record, it's very difficult to stop mid-sentence. And yeah, a normal afternoon in Spain. Anyway, Shirley, I hope that all this is in focus. I'm trying to do this in the evening sun when maybe the light is not as um, strong because I did want to show the crystalline textures of these blooms, which I hope will come through on camera. But my little Lelia Regina, my first Rapiculus orchid to ever bloom in my collection, will have to go up with there with one of my all-time favorites. Shirley, thank you ever, ever so much. I hope everything is going well in your part of the world. And I hope that you do see this video. Oh boy, that mound is heavy. But I've taken it out of the sun to at least say goodbye for now. And just say one more thank you. I just find that they're never really sufficient for all the support that I get and the kind comments that you leave. But anyway, yeah. Are you kidding me? There's more buds. Look at this. I'm glad I featured her. She might not be the most in your face, gorgeous, stunning blooms, but she is certainly a giver. My goodness, there's more. Let's see if I can take care of them and that I can dedicate them to somebody. But here we are. Thank you ever, ever so much, everybody. Everybody that's watched, everybody that leaves comments, everybody that asks questions. I am truly, truly grateful. I appreciate it. Stay safe and have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.